Good afternoon, people. PJT and son of him. <laughs> and talking of him, and was not going to participate in this one, but she's half pickled, so she isn't. But she did get these glasses for us, didn't she? Yeah. And I told her not to when we were in Somerset. I said, do not pinch the glasses. What happens? Kleptomania. Yeah. Well, you know, I've got a limited edition Thatcher's glass, as I was saying to you, what H got me when he was working behind the bar, but I, I, for the life of me, I can't find it. And it's a pretty rare one. Anyway, as you've seen from the thumbnail, it's two big hitters. You've got your Thatcher's Vintage at 8.3. Um, I've never had this to my knowledge. And I actually found this in Somerset. You can probably get it in stores here, obviously, but um, obviously it goes back to 1904. Thatcher's Katie is a little bit weaker at 7.4. Um, I have had Katie a few times, and I do find that that is... Was she any good? <laughs> <laughs> Cocaine Katie, as Robbie Williams sang yeah. about. It was Robbie Williams' drug dealer back in the day, Cocaine Katie. So, you've got the Thatcher's bit on there. I'll pour this one, you pour that one, and let's see what we get. Obviously, we've iced the glasses, because as you probably know, it's hot in here. By the time you see the video, it probably won't be hot, but... There you go. There's your pour. It's lighter than I remember this. Wow, okay. That's kind of thrown me, you know, because I often think it was light. Nice bit of carbonation for ciders as well. Yeah. You're not going to believe me on this one. What? I've just smelled it. Yeah. It I'm smells sure. like cider. No. It's, it smells like cider. And the other one, it smells like cider. Let's get a shot. Let's get a shot of these. You're bad as them for jumping out of the way. Yeah, I'm not in the background. I'm not going to start watching. Yeah, there you are. Look at my goofy. So, we've accustomed that they smell like cider. Well, that's good to know. Thank you for pointing that out. They're both in 500ml bottles, and I think they were both, one way or another, brought in deals where it was three for six pounds. And so, some, some might say that they have an aroma of apples. Hmm. It's lighter this one, isn't it? Yeah, much no? lighter. I'm quite surprised about. It. I don't remember. I haven't had this for ages. Yep. Apples. Cider. Hmm. Yep. Apples. Cider. That does smell slightly different to that, Mike. Yeah, one of them. Maybe it's oak, oak aged or something, with it being vintage. Don't know, as I say, I don't know anything about it. I know that it's hot, and I thought this is the one today. This is it. This is bang. Well, it says it's matured. Say about ah, matured, like the wife. Right. So let's go on that. No, let's go on the Katie first. Right. We'll go on the Katie first because if just in case that's got a real prominent taste to it. I know Katie's. Katie's quite nice. I'll go first. Then. Okay. Nice, thank you. Hmm. A healthy serving there. Oh yeah, that's how I remember it. I haven't had Katie for some time, but I'm telling you, the 7.4 is absent without leave. Yeah, I totally yeah. forgot it was seven percent. That could be a five percent. You'd be none the wiser. Yeah, you could have told me that it was four and a half. Yeah, it it just flows through, and there's a, a burst of apples, literally, all the way through. Yeah. But you don't get hold of her. God, Barney. Stop the world. I want to get off. But you don't... <laughs> you don't get that... Um, bite. That bite at the end. You know, sometimes... And you get the warmth. You're just not getting that. That is totally, totally absent without leave, isn't it? That is decent. That's very nice. Mm. It is, I tell you. It's like drinking apple ties with a little kick. Drinking a pumped up apple ties, that. Yeah. And I say, at 7.4%. You don't wow. taste the alcohol yeah. on that at all. You're not, you're not getting that at all. Oh, yeah, right now. Hang on, let's have a go on a big player and then let's side to side them. I'm teaching Sean. He's not a very, not re really a cider man, are you? But then he's liked a few of them lately. I much prefer Katie. Yeah. Taste wise. I like vintage myself. <laughs> no. Oh, 
cup though, hasn't it? Now that that's how warm the old cup goes. Yeah. That now it's nice, don't get me wrong. It's not bad. But you know that you're drinking something there, that's different yeah. gravy. It's also less like tangy than the Katie. Yeah, that's a oh, oh, oh. it's it's nice, don't get me wrong to say, as far as I'm aware. These it's bugs. the first time I've ever tried it. Oh yeah, I can't read the back of that. It's suitable for vegans and vegetarians, so that's good. Medium dry. Yeah, that's about right, because you always look at... Thatcher's more of a dry. Or well, dry to medium, wouldn't it? But this is um, this is a medium dry. It's certainly not sweet. I can't do sweet ciders. I do find it best served chilled. Yeah, you'd hope so, wouldn't you? <laughs> But then again, as we were saying yesterday, on yesterday's review, a lot of the ciders come straight out the old carton and bang go. Yeah, ready to go. But yeah, um, that's, that, that warms you up. That warm the old cockles on a cold night, wouldn't it? Yeah. Um, I think I'm going to agree with, with Sean on this, with the two of them. Ooh. It's less flavourful, in my opinion. But it has got that. That, that oaky flavour about it, but it does as, as, as you're swallowing. It's it's kind of a it's hitting a spot. Yeah, you feel it going down. Yeah, I let's be honest. I don't think you'd do too many of them. Uh -uh. Um, I think that could hit you, and I think that could hurt you if you're not careful. Four point two UK units. Yeah, in one bottle. As I say, the difference is. With the eight point three compared to the seven point four, you know that you you know that you're drinking something that's a yeah. bit a bit tasty. You know, it's got a bit of depth to it as well. But for me, I'd probably go on that one. Although that one's going to fool you into thinking you're not going to get, yeah, you know, and you are. So oh, it's a tough one. Um, It does. It warms you as it's, as it's running through. But it really, it really is a, a nice cider. But that one's just, oh, I don't know. Just it just feels lighter, doesn't it? Yeah. And it feels more drinkable on the old palate. This one. I thought it was more flavourful personally. It's a yeah. I, what what I'd say there is. And I'm not into sweet things normally, but it's like a more sweeter apples used on that than that. Yeah, I if think that makes sense. This one uses bitter sweet apples. Well, normally I'd like something that way. Yeah. But I don't know. There's, there's something about the apple. It'd be interesting to know the background of both of them. Obviously, um, we don't. But if you look at it, well, this is made with Katie apples. Ah, Katie apples. You see, that's what it is. Katie apples. Yeah. It's a dead giveaway when it says Thatcher's Cake, I suppose, isn't it? But um, they're both decent in their own right. Um, if I was scoring them... I'd uh, give this an 8 or 9, and I'd give this an 8 and 7. 8, 7 for me. Yeah. 8, 7, yeah. I think you could get... Oh, tell you what. I only had a bit of that. And um, you kind of know, because when it's repeating on you... Yeah. It tells you something. But they're both a yes. And as I say... I know you can get this one on the three for six quid in Tesco's. That one, as I say, I've got in a co-op in Somerset. Whether they're down here in the south or wherever you're watching this video from, I don't know. But, you know, it's been around a long time, this one. And so I didn't know that one until a few weeks ago. But they're both a yes. What can I say? Bonjour.